Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing good and having a good time. Here I am at the Culinary Institute of America and this is actually my first video about the CIA. Now it's been about three months that I've been here and I think I know enough about this place to make this video. So if you want to gain some information about the CIA, you're in the right place and keep watching this video. So I'm in my first semester here at the CIA and I'm a bachelor's student. I'm studying food business management with a focus on culinary arts. But this semester I didn't have any kitchen classes which sucked a little bit but I, I had all academics. There are two types of classes here at the CIA. There are actually three types of classes at the CIA. Kitchen classes, normal academic classes, and online classes. Kitchen classes obviously take place in the kitchen, and they're a lot longer than academic classes. They're usually like five, six to eight hours. But academic classes, they're like normal academic classes. You go, you sit, you sit in a classroom, professor comes, teaches, the class ends, and they're usually like an hour and 20 minutes. Online classes, you all know what online classes are. I'm not gonna like explain what, the, what online classes are. Are classes hard at the CIA? Well, about kitchen classes, I cannot say anything because I'm not taking any this semester. But from what I've heard, uh, they are very intense and the chefs are like very, very restrict about certain things. But academic classes, it, it honestly depends on how many classes you have and which professors you have for those classes. If you have like three to four classes per semester, that's totally fine, you're just chilling. But if you have like five to six classes, seven classes, it like hits a little bit, you know? This semester I had uh, nutrition, professionalism, college writing, financial accounting, statistics, and uh, microeconomics. One thing that I really like about the CIA is that it's not just like any other colleges that you can wear whatever you like to your classes. There's actually a dress code for two main academic buildings. You either have to be in your chef whites or business casual. And the two main academic buildings are Roth Hall and McCann. So food, where do students eat at the CIA? I would say egg is the most convenient place for us students here at the CIA. And it actually, it's a like really nice place. You go with your friends, you eat, you have fun, you come back, it's nice. There is six or seven different stations at the egg and they all have like different types of foods. The menu changes every day during the weekdays and there are three types of meal plans. If you want to attend the CIA, you have to choose one of these meal plans. They all have a different amount of gold points and whenever you go to the egg, you go to the Roth Hall and when you like want to buy food, you will spend your points. I also wanted to talk about housing a little bit. I'm obviously living on campus in Angel Hall. I really, really like it. It's like very convenient to like everywhere you want to go. There is a like walking distance of maybe two minutes to everywhere you want to go. To Roth Hall, Library, McCann, Parking Lot, Egg, like everywhere you want to go, it's like near you. It's really nice. And try to make uh, good friends. And most importantly, most importantly, Try to make good relationship with your roommate. I'm currently in a double. I have a roommate. I really like my roommate. And if you don't make good relationship with that person, with your roommate, you, listen, you will be living with that person for at least a semester. And if you are not having a good relationship with each other, there will be a lot of pressure on you. And if you have like, if you, if you have good friends, if you make good relationship with your roommate, you feel like you're home. You don't feel like this is just a place for me to sleep and study. No, you feel like you're home. And that's how I feel right now, which is super nice. Uh, clubs and activities have a very big important role here at the CIA. There is a lot of clubs and activities and you can join clubs, you can attend different activities. And it's just really nice that the school has like this many activities. There's actually like ha something happening every day here at the CIA. But do students attend all those activities? No, of course not, because you don't have enough time to do that. And one last thing that I wanted to mention is that CIA, it's not an easy school. It's actually quite hard and you have to be mentally prepared for this. I would suggest before attending the CIA, go work in a restaurant, go work in a kitchen, in a catering place, in a hotel for at least six to seven months. Because when you have that background experience, background knowledge, it's just going to be so much easier for you. But I'm not saying like if you don't know anything, you're not welcome to here. You're coming here to learn, of course, that's the whole point of it, right? But if you have that background experience, background knowledge, 
it's just gonna be so much, so much, so much easier for you. Okay, I think this is the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, any wonders, thoughts, anything, just drop a comment down below. Um, if you want me to expand any subject that I talk about, like housing, meal plan, classes, anything, anything, just drop a comment down below and I will make a like separate video of that. I will tell you guys whatever I know. Um, and lastly, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you and see you soon.